this format, as we're sitting here talking through and we're sharing our own stories, why there are so many ways we could be doing this. Mm -hmm. So many ways. And we've done many of them that they could anybody can go visit on sweetvera.org. Mm -hmm. But why this format now? Why have we chosen this? <laughs> Podcasting is a unique format in that we can actually have in-depth discussions. We can, you know, the way that television and audio in a lot of ways over the last few years, probably especially within the last, let's call it 15 to 20 years, has really been short snippets, mm -hmm. attempting to tackle really big ideas or big thoughts or big feelings or big understandings and do it in three to seven minutes or something like that. You know, especially on the news or TV or something like that, it's, you know, you have a couple people all talking and it just becomes so much, almost overwhelming. There's no way you can really get down to the depths of something in just a couple minutes. And so, yes, we've utilized these other, other, other processes like short approaches and we're between one minute to, I don't know, 10 minutes and, that's helped us really grow, and I'm grateful. I mean, us being in 80 countries and over a million people part of Suivera, that's incredible. And I'm so grateful for every single heart who's chosen this. And so it's now our responsibility to, now that we've opened the door, to take that next step and really dive in. And this is a great way to do that for us to have a casual conversation about what all these things mean to really discuss the key attributes of what it means to be a heart leader. And these are all things that people know and do probably on a regular basis. But again, as we bring more intention and understanding and purpose and really bring depth into them, then that's where inspiration comes. And as a community, we begin to inspire each other. And I feel like that's the key is, yeah, there may be some things that each of us know, mm -hmm. but collectively there are a lot of tools mm -hmm. and techniques and perspectives and experiences that we don't all know. And so this format, being able to bring in multiple individuals who have leveraged what we call the key attributes of being a heart leader. Mm -hmm. The vulnerability, compassion, gratitude, self-love, acknowledge. There are just so many different formats of attributes that a heart leader brings forward and they've utilized them to build major organizations or to make global impacts or to change the dynamic within their family or within themselves. Mm -hmm. And since we're all at different points in our life, to be able to bring in various people who have walked that path and can share that insight and do it in a long format where we can really dive in and share with each other, this worked well for me, but this didn't work well for me, and here is why. And then if it sounds like something that resonates with you, great, take it, make it your own. Because what fit for me may not fit for you letter for letter, but if you adapt it and make it your own tool for your toolbox, then it may be something that takes you to the next step or to the next level in your journey. And so it really has been a wonderful, as we've sat and we've brainstormed and heartstormed yes. how this is going to come together, mm -hmm. To me, that's the really exciting part is to, to really share perspectives and journeys that you might not hear otherwise across all of those countries and all of those different individuals spread out across the globe. So, Absolutely. so let's talk a little bit about structure and format, yeah. what individuals can anticipate as we continue to roll this out. What is the structure for our podcast and why? Again, let's keep going to why. Why? There's a purpose. There's a heartfelt purpose behind why we've created this the way we have. So 
Walk us through what the structure is going to look like and why. Absolutely. So the key attributes to being a heart leader is, pun intended, going to be the key to how we approach everything. And uh, like, for example, this month being all about gratitude. Which, you know, in the U.S. makes a ton of sense because, you know, Thanksgiving this month, Mm -hmm. a lot of people are focused on family. Um, But the reason why we wanted to start off this way is because, one, gratitude, as we talked about, is such incredible energy that we can connect with and help us become more heart-centered. And with each month going forward, we will have, we will highlight a different key attribute. And through that process, we'll have, you and I will have discussions about what that's meant to us, how it's impacted our lives. And then we'll also provide some tools. Like, for example, in this this month, we'll share our gratitude journal that can be a free download uh, that anyone can utilize. And it's one that you and I have both used. It's really helped us. And it just could be a great tool to, to get kind of in that feeling of gratitude to watch one transform over time. So, uh, and every month we'll have some sort of download to be able to connect to that attribute. Perfect. And then we'll also have uh, a few guests every month. Um, that will be you uh, interviewing these guests. Uh, some are entrepreneurs, some are athletes, some are community leaders. And some are individuals who have just been simply inspiring to us. And because we definitely believe that no one above another, just experience. Mm -hmm. So if we can share that experience at different levels and different perspectives, that can create that, that depth that we were talking about. But also for many, it might, might create the, um, the verbiage to describe things that maybe they're feeling and thinking, but don't know how to fully communicate yet. And so maybe, maybe through those discussions, they can gain insights and, and be able to effectively communicate what they already know in their hearts, but now be able to actually share it on that different level to be both inspired themselves and therefore inspiring to others. Thank you for sharing that. As we prepare to wrap up here, Mm -hmm. are there any other bits of information that you feel would be helpful for somebody who's going to start tuning in to really know about this podcast and or anything you would like to share just from your heart Mm -hmm. about this endeavor? Or about Suivera as a whole? Yeah. Our mission at Suivera is to create a global movement of love. And that movement, every act of love counts. So that could be as simple as holding the door open for someone. Or you know, if you're having a rough day and, and you know, it's already a struggle and someone comes to you and says, hey, you know, you sharing their problems taking that step back to just listen and hold space. Or even if it's as simple as letting someone in the lane, you know, you know, if they just cut you off instead of getting uh, angry, you know, getting angry <laughs> or something, it could be just to, just to let it be like, maybe, maybe they needed that in that moment. And that's okay. It's not going to affect you in the long run. Yeah. So those little things, they add up over time and they count. And as you beautifully said, and how we started our movement with a simple quote that that you shared, which is, we can and do change the world with every loving act. And that act could be towards someone else, but also could be towards ourselves. Just taking that moment through, for example, gratitude, to show love to ourselves, to show love to our families, because you don't have to be celebrating Thanksgiving like we are in the U.S. here to be grateful for the people in your lives. That's really the energy around this month. That's really the focus point for this month. So when we do share these key attributes, it's more than just what's going on in in maybe the culture that we share as a organization that represents and 
accepts and connects with all cultures, all belief systems, all practices. It's our opportunity to learn from each other. With that said, for any listeners, I really feel like go at your own pace. We are going to provide highly in-depth, long-form conversation that could be upwards of an hour. If that's too much, we're also going to have little clips of what we talk about. So go at your pace. This is not a race. Love is love. <laughs> yes. We don't have to race to love. We don't have to do love. Love is about being it. And so go at the pace that you're feeling. So whether it's our short clips, uh, we might have some longer, just brief clips at, you know, on our YouTube channel or something like that. Or if you do feel inspired to want to hang on for the entire hour, uh, whether that's video or, or audio, riding in your car or something like that, you know, go at your pace. And if you feel called to, to utilize our tools, please, please do. You know, as a nonprofit, our opportunity is to gift these. And we love doing this because this is what's worked for us. And it's helped a lot of our clients and our students and thousands of people around the world. And so if that really does align, you know, feel free to use it and feel free to share because there are other people who are exactly in the space that you are that may need that guidance and may look up to you even though you don't even realize it. Beautiful. And in order to get to some of our free resources, yes. individuals could go to www.suivera, S is in Sam, U I V is in Victor, E R as in Richard, A dot org. And it's an O R G. Yes. And we have a free resources tab that is on there. You can find a bunch of information. So definitely a place to explore. We have multiple levels of content. Mm -hmm. Anything else you would add to that? Yeah. Um, with the key attribute of every month being a highlight and us having a free tool for that, in the description of every video, we will have a download link. And so that way people can access those, uh, those tools that we provide every month. And as we grow, that will just be a way to grow your toolbox. And so we can actually build that together as a family, as a community, and connect in those tools. So even three months from now, if you're still doing the, the gratitude journal, feel free to share. Let us know how it goes. Nice. Or if that really helped you understand uh, a tool, you know, three months from now that's new at that point, and be like, wow, because I understood, because I had that experience, this is helping me take this tool to the next level. We'd love to hear all of this.